Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off this lesson by saying, Ka Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Peace and mercy to the sincere Aquath that may listen. Um, Shalom. My brother, uh, my name is Brother Amoth from GMS Toronto Camp. And uh, I'm going to tell this video, this lesson, um, just a reminder. Okay, as to what I'm reminding you about, um, or it's the same thing that, uh, you know, really it's what the apostles have constantly reminded, you know, us about, which is that this truth isn't for everybody. Okay. And, you know, even as a young man, you know, just coming to the faith, that's something that you're going to, um, you know, have to be reminded of. You're going to find yourself reminding or remembering that, having to remember that constantly. Because you have to understand this is the Most High's plan, this is the Most High's will. Most High knows who, he knows who, who his elect are. Because this truth, the, the truth of the scriptures is only for the elect, the 144,000. Then you have, you know, the one third, which the elect make up the majority or make up, you know, I guess the core of the one third, but a part of the one third are like the family members and the loved ones of the elect, you know, you know, all that and so forth. But as far as the prophets of the most high, Yahweh Shem Yoshai, is 12,000 men from each tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel is where you get the word, the number 144,000, obviously, right? So that's, that's who understands, you know, the will and the truth of, 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 of the scriptures at a hundred percent, beginning with the apostles and elders on down. So it's important to, it's important to remember and to know that this truth, no matter what the church says, no matter what these other Israelite camps say, okay, these uh, alphabet camps, ABC camps, Okay, it doesn't matter what anybody says. The scriptures clearly, you know, show that this truth is for a certain kind of people that have been chosen from the beginning of time. There's nothing we can do or say to change that, you know. So anyways, I'm going to get a couple of precepts and go into it. I'm more willing this uh, lesson is edifying. So first precept is First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13 and it says but we are abound to give thanks always to Yahweh for you brethren beloved of the Lord because Yahweh hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth you know so the most high in other words, simpler words, the Most High, Paul is saying that the Most High has chosen you. And who's the you? The men that are the, the, the men that are scattered across the world who are actually sighing and sighing and crying for the abominations of, of 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 this of this of this wicked kingdom. Okay? The prophets, all right? The prophets of Yahweh Shimon Shah, the elect. Alright, and he's saying that. Most High has chosen you from the before, from the beginning of time, right? And and what else? He said, Paul said, um, has chosen you through salvation, has chosen you to salvation, okay? Through sanctification, right? Which is another uh, and what sanctifies us? Well, he's going to say of the Spirit. So it's the Holy Spirit. Right, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is 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 what sanctified the elect, and that's why the apostles they say the apostles of Great Millstone they say that we have one hundred percent truth because the Holy Spirit is dealing with those men on down, the apostles and elders on down to the sincere brethren, the sincere Akim that are pushing this truth across the four corners of the earth. It's the Spirit that's feeding with us. I got a quick precept to back my point up. This is uh, Revelation chapter Revelation chapter three verse. Okay, Revelation chapter three verse twenty. 
Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, what's the door? Yahweh Shai is standing at the door and knock. That's your mind. Okay? So, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man have any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Okay, so that's parabolic. When you eat, you're digesting, man. So that's parabolic for, for this truth, for this knowledge. All right, the Holy Spirit, okay, uh, working with Yahweh Shai, um, is, uh, is, is, is what actually breaks down the, 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 the meaning of, these, of, the, of certain verses, um, of, 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 of the precepts in the scriptures. That's why, you know, for instance, it's hard. It's hard for a lot of these Christians to, they can't break down revelation, but the Holy Spirit through the Holy, through uh, the Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, okay, have worked on the minds of the apostles through the, with the Holy, through the Holy Spirit. Yahweh Shai have worked on the minds of the apostles through the Holy Spirit. And that's why they're able to break down, you know, Daniel 7, Daniel 2, Revelation, Revelation, um, the fifth chapter, okay, Revelation 13, the mark of the beast, Ezekiel, all these different breakdowns, man, and, and they back it up 100%, so that's just, it's through the spirit, right, to him, verse 21, to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am sat down with my father in his throne, that's right. So going back to First Thessalonians um, two and uh, two and fourteen, we're on two. He called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold that hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistles. Right, because when you come in this truth, man, you have traditions. You can call what we do, what we do, you know, the high holy days, us keeping the high holy days, not eating pork, you know, not shaving our beards, you know, not being bald, wearing garments when we go out there in the highways and byways. Everything we do, okay, it's, it's a part of our customs. It's a part of our custom because at the end of the day, this truth is also our heritage, man. It's our heritage. This is actually how we live, man. This is actually how we lived. And this is actually how, you know, how every nation has, has their own way of doing things. And this is our way of doing things. So this can't be for everybody. You know, this is just the, the Bible is the history book of the, of the, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians, which are the Israelites. They are the true Israelites that the Bible speaks of. So this truth isn't for the whole world, man. All right, because when the other nations read this, when the other nations hear this truth, for them it's judgment. It's not. It's not. It's not judgment unto, unto salvation. For even two thirds of Israel, this truth is judgment, and that's all it is. It's judgment unto destruction. It's not judgment unto salvation. For the elect, this truth is judgment unto salvation. That's why we constantly are trying to become better men. All right. We're trying to be better men to set the example. But the other nations, they hear, they, they read this book and they get judged. But they don't get judged to become better people. You know, they don't have that kind of spirit because it's not for them like that. You know? So, um, come on, that was my point on that precept. Let me get the next precept. So, I'm going to jump to... John chapter 8, John chapter 8, verse 41. So, come on, John chapter 8, verse 41, and it says, Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even Yahweh. And now this is um, um, Yahweh Shai, okay, talking to the wicked uh, Sadducees and Pharisees. Yahweh shall I said unto them, If Yahweh were your father, ye would love me. 
That's right, because you know Yahweh Shai is is is, is uh, only begotten son of Yahweh, and Yahweh sent Yahweh Shai. Okay, so you can't get to the Most High without going through Yahweh. He's or sorry, Slake, you can't get to Yahweh the Most High without going through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the mediator. Okay. Um, Yahweh Shai said unto them, If Yahweh were your father, ye would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from Yahweh. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. That's right. Why do ye not understand my speech? Now, Yahweh Shai is asking a question that he already knows the answer to. He's just trying to make a point. Because, you know, it's one of my precepts, but the um, Yahweh Shai spoke in parables. And he knew who the elect were. He knew who were the most ties. That's why, um, I forgot where it was, but Yahweh Shai said in, I think, somewhere in Matthew, that for, for they that are thine are mine, right? And that's where he went on, and that's... Um, let me see if I can actually find that because it's, I kind of, I don't remember exactly how it went. Um, bear with me one moment. What really comes to my mind. Let's see if I can get that real quick. Um. Yeah, so like, Lord willing, comes to me. But basically, the precept goes about it goes um, roughly paraphrasing for whoever is the most highs, forever who are the most highs, or forever uh, for whoever Yahweh Shai is dealing with and has and had taught the truth to are the most highs. So basically, those are the elect. Okay, and Yahweh Shai had that knowledge, man, because when he was Solomon, he didn't know everything. He knew. He didn't, he knew like like he knew basically everything, but he didn't know that he who he was. So like, cause when Yahweh Shai came back as Yahweh Shai, or yeah, when Yahweh Shai came back as Yahweh Shai, cause Yahweh Shai had multiple reincarnations, right? So when Yahweh Shai came back as Yahweh Shai, he understood that he was Solomon. He understood who he was in all his previous life, pre previous lives. So he had complete understanding of who the elect were. Okay, so um, that's why that precept it says, "For they that are thine are mine," you know, and that's why Yahweh said, that "My sheep hear my voice." Because Yahweh Shai is a shepherd, right? And we're the sheep, right? So, okay, so back to John eight and forty, forty-three. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. And he's talking to the wicked Sadducees and Pharisees who are Israelites, okay? Because they follow Esau, man. They choose Esau and Esau's way, just like in today's time. Jake chooses Esau and Esau's ways instead of choosing the most high and their own and their heritage, man. Right? That's why Yahweh said, Ye are of your father the devil. Okay? And they were doing it back then, you know. Israel has Israel has has as a as a as a track record in choosing other gods over the Most High. Even after the Most High showed his power and and his strength, Israel still you know um, has Israel still chooses other gods to be their their, their power, you know, God wood and stone to be their power that cannot breathe that have no life. And you see it today, man. They believe in this guy named Jesus Christ, which that's not the, that's not the Messiah. You know, Jesus Christ isn't the Messiah. Yahweh Shai is the Messiah, All right? But tell Israel that, you know, they're not gonna they're not gonna hear that. It's only it's because this truth again is is only for us uh, for a, a a a sect few, a selected few, an an elected few. Even among Israel is for elected few. So how much more the rest of the world, the rest of the other nations? It's very simple. 
So it says, uh, ye are of your father, ye of your ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he spaketh a lie, speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. And because I have and because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? <coughs> Slacket. Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? Because it's not meant for them. He that is of he that is of Yahweh heareth Yahweh's word. That's right. Mind you, he's talking to Israelites who originally this book was made for, man. But again, like I said, it's for the elect of Israel. Not just Israel, but the elect of Israel. It goes deeper than that. The chosen within the chosen. All right? They that, they that are Israel on all of Israel. Roughly paraphrasing. Um, okay, which of you convince, convinces me of sin? And if I say that the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of Yahweh heareth, hear, heareth Yahweh's word. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of Yahweh. Okay, ye are not the Most High. Then answered the Jews, he's talking to Israel's, Israelites, and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hath a devil? Yahushai answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and and ye do this and ye do dishonor me, and I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judges. So, you know, basically Yahushua was about his father's business. And that business was waking up the elect. <laughs> simple as that that's why we do what we do man because the servant's not greater than his master we're following the example of Yahweh Shai beginning with the apostles and elders on down all right I always say okay there's two sides to every coin okay on one side of the coin we push this truth to wake up the elect and judge the rest of the world okay on the other side of the coin we do this to to to, to uh, for salvation for our own salvation because the scriptures say work out your own salvation with trembling and fear with fear and trembling it's very simple that's why we do this man so we're not doing this of our own of our own accord man yes we love what we do we're passionate okay we're faithful for what we do but this is still the most highest program all right and that's why we always say this is what the scriptures say it's not about our opinion but you're not going to get that. The Christians aren't like that, man. And these other Israelite groups, they're not about the Most High's business. These ABC camps, they want to do what they want to do. That's why, you know, and not to beat, you know, a horse or, or, or beat the horse with a stick, but just for edification, that's why you had the whole business with the, the whole ordeal with the, with the strip club, going to the strip club on the Passover, because they were about their own business. They were about their own lust. Ye are of ye or of your father the devil and you do the lust of your father the devil they're not doing the will of the most high because if they were they would have been more sincere about that apology that apology was half ass you know it was i'm sorry but you know what you guys point and started pointing the finger just say you're sorry lord willing the most high has mercy on me and move on all right but that's an example of that okay so one more precept and then I'll close up this lesson here. This is uh, Matthew Matthew 13. And uh, Matthew 13 and 1. And it says, The same day went Yahushai out of the house and sat by the seaside. A great multitude were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. He spake, and he spake many things unto them in parables. Another word for parables is metaphors. 
Metaphors are synonymous with the word parables. So not everything was straightforward, right? It was straightforward for the elect, the, for the men that were supposed to receive that information to receive the parable, but it wasn't straightforward for the people who weren't supposed to receive it, all right? Saying, behold, a sower went forth and sowed, and this is the parable. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell on stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up and sprung up because they had no deepness of the earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had not they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruits, some a hundredfold, some six, sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. All right. So that's the parable. So basically with that parable, basically, you know, what the parable means is that, you know, this truth, it gets given out. Everybody, everybody, everybody comes across truth at some point in their life. And, and for the truth, some people got the truth you know, was in the truth for a couple years, you know, and then they fell out. Some people got the truth and then and they kind of were like, yeah, forget that. And they kind of, they, they fell out that way. So basically many people got the truth, but only certain people, you know, actually bear fruit with this, with this, with, with this, uh, with the truth. Okay. It's like, it's like, it's like farming. Everybody gets the seed, but no one actually, but not everybody uh, uh, plants, not everybody has, uh, not everybody reaps the, um, um, or brings that farm to an abundance, okay, within the fruit, which the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that's what they did. That's why we're here making videos. That's why I'm here making a video, because I heard them. So all of us are ultimately fruits of them, and, and they're fruits of Yahweh Shai. We're all ultimately fruits of Yahweh Shai, you know? That's why, you know, the scriptures say that Yahweh is the husband, hus the husbandary, right? Which is the farmer. Yahweh Shai is the vine, and we are the branches of that vine. Okay. So verse nine it says Matthew thirteen and nine, who hath ear, who has who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Straightforward and simple, man. There's no breakdown. There's no need of no any breakdown to that. It's just straightforward. That's how the Most High had it. That's the plan. That's his blueprints. And that's it. That's what we're here to do. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance but whosoever hath not, what? What don't they have? The Holy Spirit, right? There's some men who the Holy Spirit are dealing with. That's why when they were given the truth, or the, they were given the truth, they were able to, uh, to, to abide in the truth and bring forth fruit, like the apostles and elders, on down, okay? For whosoever hath to him shall, ha shall be given, and he shall have more abundance but whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away even that even that he hath that's right man because when you come into this truth you know you get cleaned up but then if you fall out you're in a worse state than you were before you came in this truth you know and really it comes it comes down to that sanctification that i read in uh, first thessalonians the second chapter Right, because the Most High had chosen His elect before the beginning, before the creation of the world, man. In the beginning of time, He chose the elect. So it, it, ultimately, man, this thing's pre, everything was already predestinated, and we're just—it's a script, and we're living it out. Okay. Um. Okay, verse thirteen. Therefore spake I to them in parables, because they seeing see not and they hearing they hear not neither do they understand and and that's right man israel all of israel has gotten no one has not came across this truth man we're at that time this is this truth has been pushed out 
across to the across the world okay every israelite has come across this truth in what in some shape or form or the other okay and they see us doing the work they see the prophecies but they can't actually perceive it they don't actually understand it you know it's just like a a monkey a monkey monkey see monkey do but they don't actually understand what they're doing or parrots parrots here repeat everything a person say but they don't actually understand the words that they're repeating you know so um verse 14 it says and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of of Isaiah okay which saith by hearing ye shall he sh by hearing ye shall hear and ye shall not understand and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive for this people's heart is waxed gross gross means thick all right so their mind is is thick man is stubborn okay and their ears are dull of hearing so they're not sharp right they can't actually perceive what's going they actually can't understand what you're saying and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they shall see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and i should heal them so you know on the other hand man there's a there's a reason why the most high has you know has it out like that because you know what there's a thing called reincarnation and israel has went off in their past life multiple times so some the majority of Israel, the truth of the Israel that can't get this truth aren't supposed to get this truth because they have to be judged. They have to live out their judgment, man. All right, and that's why in the kingdom they're gonna understand everything because they've lived out their judgment and they're gonna come back righteous. They're gonna come back perfect. That's why the apostle says, "We don't love you now, but we'll love you in the kingdom." Hey, <laughs> you know, and that's the truth. Okay, and it says. But blessed are your eyes, for your eyes see, and your eyes, for your eyes see, and your ears, they, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. And that's why, the, that's why the, the, the wicked Sadducees and Pharisees, they ultimately got jealous, and they, and they, and they, and they, and then killed the Shai, okay? That's why Israel uh, persecuted the prophets. Because at the end of the day, it's like a crab, it's like the crab in a bucket um, saying, okay? You know, and you see that among Jake, always trying to tear each other down, pull each other down, because out of jealousy. How much more with this truth, man? Paul said, have I now become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Even Shai said that when I just read it. So Israel is jealous, man, at the end of the day. Because the elect have obtained it. Okay. I got a quick preset for that. Um, Roman. Romans 11. 11 and uh, 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded. Blinded. Exactly. Straightforward, man. The elect have obtained the truth, which ultimately they're going to obtain that salvation, man. And that's going to go forward. There's going to be more to what they have obtained, but, you know, that's going to be seen in the kingdom. Well, we're of that. We're of the hopeful elect. So I'll finish this up. And it says, um, For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. Hear ye, therefore, the parable of the sower. When any one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and, catheth, and catches away that which was sown in his heart. That is he which received the seed by the wayside. That's right, man. And you see that all the time. You know, you see it all the time. You probably experienced it. I know I've experienced it. You'll be teaching someone, whether most of the time a righteous brother, or a righteous sister, or a decent, a decent man or a decent woman, and their friends come along and distract them from what you're teaching them, and it's gone, you know. So, all right. So I'm gonna close up. I'm pretty sure um, I, know, I know the point's been made. I made my point. 
Um, hopefully this was edifying. So with that, I'm going to close and say, Kahala Yahawa, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, salutation to the elect, pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, and peace and mercy to the sincere Aqua that may listen. Abba Baba, Kwame Asha'Allah, Shalawah.